Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Tenvas. So in this video, so I am going to explain one technical code so on pointers. See, so we can store more than one string. You can say that array of strings, or you can say that array of character pointers, because a character pointer represents a string in C language. So now here, so whenever we are declaring a variable. Right, array of character pointers. So, what is the size of array, and what is the size of element in that array? Is nothing but string. See, so this is the simple code. So that we are going to check. Here it is a three strings we are taking. So this is one array. So array of strings. String means what? Character pointer. That array name is S. And here it is directly we are initializing, so depends on the initial elements, the size will be fixed. How the memory will be allocated? How the memory will be allocated? C++ is a string just like gets memory allocation like this at some location. Next one here it is a Java. Java gets memory allocation like this at another location. And next one is like a Python gets memory allocation. It's Python gets memory allocation. The th three strings gets memory allocation at three different locations. So any address you can take. Simply we are taking like a. Here it is a two zero four six, four zero five eight, seven zero six two. Like this we are allocating the memory. So we are allocating. And next, this is the array. It stores the three elements. What are the three elements? It will not store C++, Java, and Python. What it will store? The pointer to that memory block. This pointer means what? It holds the base address. Nothing but array. Array holds. The first one is a two zero four six. Second one is a four zero five eight. Third one is a seven zero six two. Is pointing like this. Is pointing like this, and S holds by pointing to this one. It holds. Now here, whenever we are writing that size of S, is nothing but what is the size of array? How many elements are there? Three elements are there. See what type of elements? These are not characters. These are addresses, and we know that address is nothing but a pointer. Pointer size and integer size both are same. But the pointer size will change from compiler to compiler. So here it is a total three points pointers are there. If it is a sixteen bit compiler, three into two bytes, six is the output. Six is the output. Sir, suppose if it is a thirty two bit, twelve is the output. Sir, suppose if it is a sixty four bit, twenty four is the output. Because if it is a 16-bit compiler, the size of pointer is a two bytes, three into two six. If it is a 32-bit, three into four is a 12. If it is a 64-bit, so eight bytes, three eights are 24. That is, it can be either six or 12 or 24. That is, from compiler to compiler, it will change. And this one is what, the size of S of I. The size of S of i means what is something like a is a here it is a sorry is i value you can say that it's a zero. S of zero because directly we are not taking here it is i value. So this is what S of zero, zeroth location element is a zeroth location element. So this is what two zero four six is a two zero four six is nothing but for example is a two bytes or eight bytes or four bytes. So here it is size of S. If it is a two bytes, six by two is a three. Is a three. Suppose if it is a twelve, twelve by four is a three only. Twenty-four by eight means what is a three only? So this value will not change. It's a three. This is three. So this is how to find out the size of array, which holds a collection of strings, and what is the size of each string. But remember, 
string size means what the length will not give right here it is a every string is representing with the help of a pointer that is what character pointer so pointer size only it will give if you want to find that length means string length function we need to use string length function remember that okay so this is the output it's like either 6 or 3 or 12 or 3 or 24 or 3 depends on the compiler you are using to execute this program hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narayshati channel thank you